Welcome to the video guys. On my Instagram I had posted if you guys wanted to see like a blind whiskey tasting or monster and they actually both tied. Um, I don't drink often but I do have about 15 different bottles and I have maybe a drink every two weeks uh, currently dieting so I thought I would take today's opportunity because um, we're in a couple hours we're celebrating my best friend's 30th birthday so I uh, figured I'd try a couple now. So we're going to do a blind. I had Steph, my fiance, set up, um, well, make some random pours out of totally five total random bottles that um, that I have, and um, I think it's really interesting. I want to see which ones I actually like the most out of these five. Um, they're written down on this piece of paper, and I have these numbered. Um, actually, you know what? I had them in order from the numbers, but. Cause I looked at it before and like smelt. I I did like take a quick smell. I didn't try anything yet. Um, and then at the end, maybe I'll try to guess. Um, I can show you. I'll overlay the bottles that I have. Um, I have ranging from like fourteen dollar bottle to like a ninety dollar bottle. So she doesn't really have a reference of like what I really like and don't like. Also, this could be. A ten, like the fourteen dollar whiskey, and this could be a ninety. So, totally no idea. But uh, I th thought this would be fun. I love watching these kinds of videos. Um, I enjoy like the hunt of whiskey. I don't really drink to like get buzzed or drunk. I just I enjoy the flavor and the hunt for certain bottles, um, especially during the winter. Don't other than work, it just it's kind of a fun thing to do. So, got my water. Let's get right into it. All right, so we're gonna just start over here. It's number five. Also, I know you're supposed to have Glen Cairns. I don't have any, and they're all different glasses. So, it is what it is. Yeah, see, like I have no idea what these are. Hold on. No idea. Get like a little bit of cinnamon on the nose, I think. I'm really new to whiskeys, guys, by the way. it's I've only been doing this uh, maybe six months where I've been like actually just sipping them neat and uh, like kind of researching bottles, stuff like that. So I don't hate it. Um, it's definitely mid-range. It's not super proofy. Um, I, that was my first sip. So not super proofy, which is good. Um, yeah, not a ton of depth though. Okay, this is maybe like a, I almost get like cherry on the nose. Okay, I like this one a lot. Um, the color kind of gives these away. I only have two or three darker bottles. I like this one a lot. Super cherry, uh, like fruity. I might actually know what this one is. Um, I do like it though. I'm not gonna guess until I rank rank these. So, um, maybe like just toffee or something. Maybe a little caramel on the nose. Wow, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Hmm. I have no idea. Yeah, like a toffee caramel. Another, I don't have a ton of high proof. Um, so this is another low proof, I think. It doesn't like give you a, a crazy burn. Uh, first sip of this one, this is number three. Uh, I don't, like there's not, I get like the toffee caramel right, right away and then it kind of dies out. Like there's nothing really lingering. I do like it though. Also, I grabbed a bottle yesterday. So there's quite a few bottles that I like haven't gotten really deep into that I don't like, I, I would have no idea really what they are. So that's, that's kind of really fun, fun for me at least. Hopefully you guys enjoy it to know what I actually like. Especially like I just got a Blaine's maybe a month ago. So excited to have that bottle and I, had, I cracked it open for Christmas. 
and I really enjoyed it, but maybe that's just because I it was like a hard bottle to find, so I get excited when I grab it. Maybe not as maybe I don't enjoy it as much, but who knows? Kind of a floral nose, maybe. Not a whole lot. Maybe my sniffers broke. <coughs> it's not proofy. I think I just I I caught it a little bit. This is number four. And if I didn't mention, this is this stayed number two. This is number five. I guess I didn't move them that much. I'll try not to lip smack too much, but try to like coat my mouth a little bit. Okay. Still not really high proof. I kind of get like a. fruity like almost like more like a spearmint from this i don't know maybe the other ones are messing me up hold on i gotta drink some water because I, I i don't really know what i get from this one i like it it's a little bit darker than some of the other ones see tasting this i have no idea what it is I thought from like the smell that I might know. I have no clue. I have no idea. All right, let's uh, let's go to the last one and then we'll we can see. I, the problem is I don't really hate any of these. This is number one. No idea. And I'm, I'm still like learning on some of like the flavor notes of, of these. There's definitely, um, this one, number one, I get like a little bit more of the like oak and woody uh, flavors. It's not bad. Hmm. I need some Glen Cairns because I'm happy, these big glasses, I'm having a hard time getting some of the, the nose which would help me typically with some of the other ones. Let's get one more sip. I'm gonna try not to make this too long, but this is really fun for me. I have all the bottles over there. No idea what this is. Hmm. I don't know. I'm getting more cherry on this one. Not as much as the number, number two, but I feel like I'm getting a little cherry. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna, there's a couple I wanna try. I know this, I like this one. I wanna retry number five. Okay, I'm not feeling number five that much. This is kind of a, a little scary because I don't wanna say like something I thought I liked. Uh, and have it be bad. But anyways, um, I'm gonna retry three. Okay, I like it better than number five. Let's get a little water. I guess I didn't move these around a lot, but I can promise you I have no idea what's in these. I was in the other room watching Landon when, uh, when she uh, poured them. This is number four. It's decent. Ah, shoot. I don't really know. These kind of remind me of each other a little bit. I don't love the finish. The flavor is good. I don't like the finish at all on this one. So I'm going to kick both these out. Let's try this one one more time. number one okay hmm so yeah, these two are my top right now for sure I think they are still two and three yeah so two and three um, huh I really don't like the finish on this one um, 
and but the rest of the palette is pretty decent. I think I might actually kick this first, surprisingly, only because the finish is really leaving a weird taste in my mouth. Where this one is a smooth drink, but and not a lot of depth. But the, there's no like really bad palate. Again, some of these might just be like lower end 80 proof where you don't get a lot of depth of flavor. Because um, again, I'm just like kind of collecting things that are really interesting to me and I want to try them out. So, um, I, one more sip of this one because I'm not sure. I think this is going to go last. All right, let's do this. Is going to be, I'll leave it over here. This will be last place. Um, this is going to be fourth. Let me try this. This is number four. I mean number one. Sorry. Okay, maybe it's early and because I I didn't... Uh, I know a lot of people that will do like blind whiskey tastings. They have like a, a drink before. Maybe I messed up. Because... I don't know... I don't really, I'm not, I only know of like maybe two in my head knowing what the bottles are that I don't actually love. I think I might kick this one to third and this to fourth. Um, and then I'm gonna go one, two. Let me try, I haven't, I've only tried this the one time. Let me try number two again. Yeah, that's so good. Um, I think I know what this is. I, I really enjoy it. I get like a fruity cherry uh, oak, a little bit of oak, no smoke at all. And uh, the palate finishes really well. It doesn't stay there, um, but it, it's very enjoyable. This one is really familiar and I think I know what this one is. Let's get some water. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take a second and I'll go through all of them one more time. All right, we're back. I just wanted to take a second because I have a lot of like the low, some of the uh, like 80 to 95 proof stuff. So I just want to make sure I gave myself a quick second, a reset, I drank some water. It's been like 10 minutes. So I know I really like this one. I want to retry these three because I think this one's, these two are staying, one and two. Uh, number five. Okay. Still a low proof. I, I think this, I like the place it's in right now. Okay, number one. Okay. Hmm, I might not actually switch these. All right, let's one more go for number four. Next time, if I do another one of these, please like and subscribe if you like this. I'll probably have a drink before, and I also need some Glen Karens, which is like what you're supposed to sample and you get a nice nose out of. I just haven't uh, haven't gotten one because occasionally I'll mix some of these with like a, a Diet Coke or something, and then I also typically only drink um, when I have like I'll smoke a a cigar. So I don't always have these by themselves, and it's I mean it's January, so kind of hard to smoke. <clears throat> so let's try. Okay, this one's staying here. I love the flavor, but right when I said okay, that really weird aftertaste hits. It could have been what I ate for breakfast, who knows. Um, yeah, I don't know. It could have been anything I had eaten today, which was just, I mean, just like rice and ground beef. But anyways, I think I'm gonna leave these here. I'm gonna take a guess. Um, I don't like the finish of this, this one right here. This is number four. I don't like the finish at all, and I think it is Russell's Reserve 10 year. Um, and I only say that because I, I remember the finish being kind of rough on the one I have. Um, I've, I've smoked it, I've smoked it, I've had a cigar with it one time, and it was still finishing kind of funky, even though it was a cigar usually messes with that. 
This one? Number one, um, I almost think it might be, sorry, I'm trying to like look. I think it might be like Evan Williams Bottled and Bond maybe, um, which is like, a, I think a $16 um, bourbon. It also could be um, maybe Four Roses. I have an ori the, uh, original 86 proof Four Roses. This one, I doesn't re I don't recognize it that well, um, and it tastes pretty pretty good. Um, but I, th it, it could be the bourbon I got yesterday, and I get some of the floral floral out of it. So I'm gonna say this might be. See, I'm looking at them all, and I have no idea. There's also a couple that I'm really unfamiliar with that I've had for a while. Like I have a High West bottle over there, and it's uh, it's really good. So I don't drink it often. It could be in here. I have no idea. This one I really think is Buffalo Trace. I like it a lot. Um, I get the caramel toffee that I typically get out of the Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace is actually like fine, trying to just find one and then getting it coming straight from like Jameson is what actually started me into like liking these whiskeys and stuff like that. I would almost bet money that this one, number two, is Downmore. Uh, cherry cask, uh, which is actually a scotch. This one is probably one of my most expensive bottles. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what it is because I really enjoy the cherry easy finish on this. Again, still super new, so like high proof stuff tends to torch my palate a, a little bit. So those are my guesses. Um, let's see what they are. Um, Steph put the little note, notepad right in here. I'm, I'm not nervous because I didn't hate any of them. I just had a rough time with this finish on number four. So I'm gonna try to only see one at a time. So number four, wow. I think I was right, did I? I, I said Russell's Reserve number four. Russell's Reserve tenure. Let me grab them actually while, while, I, while I do this. So the last place that I had was Russell's Reserve tenure. Super cherry, it's a wild turkey product. Um, and I like the the first, when it first is your tongue, I like I like the palate, the mid palate starts to turn a little, a little bit of the cherry, and then there's something about the finish on this one that I don't love. Um, I've heard the 13, which is really hard to get, is okay, I've never tried the rye, but anyways, cool bottle. Um, there, some of the people on YouTube I watch, LCLB drinks, they're really good. They love the wild turkey stuff, so I've gotten a couple because of their recommendation. And this is not bad, but uh, the finish really gets me. All right, and then fourth place is number one, wild turkey 101 bourbon whiskey. That doesn't surprise me at all. So that is actually the one that I've been super vocal about not liking at all. This is the only one that I was like, I won't drink this ever. So I'm actually surprised that I had it beating the, the Russells. But these are both wild turkey Russell like products. So I'm actually really happy that it didn't like mess with me too bad having the blind. Cause um, I typically like like the Buffalo Trace products and Four Roses a little bit more. Not sure why. Okay, uh, I haven't seen the other ones. Number five is, oh, what? Okay, so I did something here that's funky. Number five, uh, what well, my third place was Buffalo Trace. I thought this was gonna, I, I was, the second I tried this one, number three, I thought it was Buffalo Trace, I really did. Hold on. Okay. It finishes super, very similar. Now I don't know what this is. It finishes very similar. Um, I love it. It's like a coffee, uh, coffee, a toffee kind of flavor. Not super depthy because I mean Buffalo Trace is low proof. And again, I don't have them a ton because we don't get it that often. Um, last month I got a Blands and a, and a couple Eagle Rares to have. Um, but I love this bottle. 
It's what got me into whiskey. I'll always love it. I love smoking, uh, smoking, drinking this with a cigar. I really do, especially in the summer. Okay, I'm gonna take one more taste of number three because I want to take one more guess. Okay, now that I've seen this, I that makes sense. And I think, uh, I don't think it's any of my old Forester stuff. I think it's one of the Four Roses. It, I'm gonna say it's the new Four Roses small batch that I got yesterday uh, because it's, it's really floral. But um, I don't think it's the 86 proof that I got. I think it's the small batch. So number three, let's slide up. What? For real? Okay, let me grab it. Okay, my taste buds are shot. So I love this bottle. It is Red Breast 12. Um, it is an Irish whiskey. Uh, it's a pretty expensive bottle. Um, I mean, I'm not happy. I'm not like mad with where it came. Second place is phenomenal. I actually, this is Zach's, we're going there tonight. This is Zach's 30th birthday gift. It's an Irish whiskey, it's the only one I have so far, but I, I really love these, super easy to drink. I love the palate. I initially like, had always just done like Jameson and ginger ale, so the transition to this one was really good, but I just got this one. Um, it's one of my like latest pickups. I love it, uh, it's really good. Now that I'm smelling it, I, again, I'm kind of new to like the notes, so when I tried it, I was a little confused, um, but it's really good. I, I definitely missed on the notes on this one though, for sure. Um, and then this one, I was pretty positive. Number two was my, uh, what is it called? Oh, Dalmore, sorry. Yes, I was still thinking about this one, my Dalmore. Um, number two, what the f I'm terrible at this. No way. Number, my first place bottle. Wow. Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. So this was one of, I believe I got this, I got an Eagle Rare and I got a Woodford Reserve Double Oaked was my first bottle. I love this bottle. I have some really good memories that I've, like I bring this out for, um, and it's also what I give new people that aren't used to it. This is like pancakes, maple syrup, it's so good. Um, now it makes sense why it was so dark. Um, and I also tried it, I only tried it that one first sip and I thought I knew what it was because of the darkness. But also like it's a little bit earlier in the day, um, not a ton of food, and I kind of mixed up the, the, the easy uh, smooth finish. This is actually a little bit more viscous than the Dalmore, so I, that should have thrown me right there. But uh, wow, a little embarrassing with the flavor notes on these two. I love how I got the the lower lower price stuff better, but like this is a expensive bottle, and then I think this double oaked version of Woodford Reserve is like fifty five. So both amazing bottles. This is actually I'm actually happy with this. There was no shockers. These. All right, I would always grab these three before I grab these. This, I'm gonna keep up there as a display. I don't know what's wrong with my palate, my nose. <clears throat> but I get like a cinnamon bomb from this that I do not like at all. A lot of people like wild turkey, that's, that's cool. I love this bottle, but the finish is terrible in my opinion. But um, if you guys wanna see me do another one of these, that was a blast, I actually love that. I would love to do an energy drink one too, um, only because like, who doesn't run on caffeine? But that was phenomenal. I appreciate you all for watching. This is a longer video. Thank you so much. Highly recommend if you're watching this, if you don't have this bottle, Woodford Double Oaked. It's always on the shelf. This is a little bit more of like, a, you have to have that flavor profile, um, but Red Breast 12 years great and the goat buffalo trace this got me into all of my collecting um led to getting a blends which is super awesome and a lot of other bottles that i still want so um that was a fun one thank you guys for watching and uh i'll catch you in the next one
do more.